In this video, I will outline our deep learning system called Cerberus, a novel neural network architecture that can simultaneously isolate and transcribe individual instruments from an audio recording of a musical mixture. When humans listen to a musical mixture like this one, we are able to selectively pay attention to individual sources like the piano or the guitar. Additionally, a trained musician might be able to convert the musical activity of a particular instrument into a symbolic, human-readable musical score, such as notation or a piano roll shown on screen. This process is called transcription and can be quite laborious even for a skilled musician. As a preview of our work, the isolated piano, guitar, and bass sources that you just heard, as well as the bass transcription shown on screen, were all estimates produced by our model. Stay tuned to hear more examples at the end of this video. Similar to the human abilities we just mentioned, the tasks of source separation and transcription have analogous threads in research within the computer audition community. Historically though, these research areas have remained disparate. Musical source separation is the process of isolating individual instruments within an auditory mixture. Source separation has advanced greatly with recent work, with many neural network architectures achieving impressive results when separating musical mixtures. However, most of these systems only separate sources and do not attempt to produce a human-readable transcription of notes. The other task is called automatic music transcription. The goal of automatic music transcription systems is to create a human-readable transcription of the musical content of a recording. Despite this, most automatic music transcription systems are designed to transcribe a single monophonic, polyphonic, or percussive instruments but many musical recordings contain multiple harmonic and percussive sources sounding simultaneously. Our work addresses the problem of transcribing multiple simultaneous instruments, both percussive and polyphonic, into individual piano rolls per instrument. Our proposed work is related to score and form separation, or using a musical score to guide a source separation algorithm. Our work does not use the musical score as input, but rather as a training objective so that the system can produce its own during inference. Our work also broadly fits into the field of multitask learning, where the goal is to leverage commonalities between tasks in order to generalize better on those tasks. A multi-source transcription and separation system like the one proposed here has the potential to open the door for the large-scale transcription of real-world music databases for search, analysis, and retrieval tasks. Examples include massive computational musicological analyses of Spotify's or Deezer's music catalog, or cover song identification that is invariant to tempo changes, key shifts, or varied instrumentation. Our work also paves the way for creative applications like making small changes to a song, for instance, altering the notes of any number of instruments in a recording, a kind of melodyne on steroids, or large changes to song, such as musical timbre transfer using an estimated multi-source score. Our proposed method is a three-headed deep neural network architecture designed to isolate and transcribe multiple polyphonic and percussive instruments in a musical mixture. Shown on the screen, we call this network Cerberus. Each head has a different output and objective function. The key idea is to first transform an input representation, such as a spectrogram, into a learned representation that is useful for both transcription and separation. The learned representations can then be processed by smaller layers that are specialized for transcription or separation. This work is closely related to two prior works in the source separation literature, namely deep clustering and chimera. To train these architectures, training mixtures and their corresponding ground truth isolated sources are provided to a network and a loss is computed between the network output and the ideal output. In deep clustering, the network is trained to map each time frequency bin of a spectrogram to a high dimensional embedding space where bins dominated by the same source are near each other and those from different sources are far apart. At inference time, the original deep clustering system used a clustering algorithm such as k-means to make masks from the embedding space. The Chimera architecture combines deep clustering with a more traditional reconstruction loss. Chimera has two heads that are attached to a single body. One head is trained with a deep clustering loss and the other is trained to create a mask, which is element-wise multiplied to the mixture spectrogram to make estimates of the sources. These losses are combined to make the Chimera loss. The proposed work extends the two-headed Chimera architecture. Chimera uses two output heads for source separation. We add a third head for the automatic transcription of musical mixtures containing multiple polyphonic and percussive instruments. We call this architecture Cerberus. 
Altogether, this architecture has three heads, a deep clustering head producing embeddings, a mask inference head creating masks that are applied to the mixture spectrogram, and a transcription head that produces a piano roll transcription for each instrument in the mixture. The transcription head produces a real valued matrix with shape T by P by I, where T is time frames aligned with the spectrogram, P is the number of possible pitches, and I is the number of instruments to be transcribed. Once trained, the output of this head is quantized to produce a piano roll transcription. Cerberus is trained using a weighted linear combination of three loss functions, corresponding to the different heads. For inference, any combination of the three heads can be used depending on the task. Let's hear some demo output. In this first example, we will first hear the original mixture, then we will hear Cerberus' estimate for the separated guitar source, which will transition into a resynthesized version of Cerberus' transcription estimate. The transcription estimate will be accompanied by a visualization of the piano roll on screen. The same process will be repeated for the piano source and transcription estimates. Note that this and all of the following audio examples in this video are downsampled to 16 kHz. Next, we will hear an example of a four-piece band consisting of guitar, piano, bass, and drums. Similar to before, we will first hear the mixture, followed by the source estimates that transitioned to the resynthesized transcription estimates for each instrument. After we have played the source and transcription estimates for each instrument individually, we will then play the mixture once more and transition the mixture to the resynthesized transcription of all instruments simultaneously. In this video, we have presented Cerberus, a three-headed, multitask deep learning architecture that can simultaneously isolate and transcribe individual instruments in a musical mixture. We have shown that Cerberus can separate and transcribe multiple polyphonic and percussive instruments more effectively than single-task networks. Further research might include using more sophisticated architectures for the source separation transcription heads, such as an onsets and frame style architecture. For more demos, please visit our websites. For further details, please refer to our paper. Thank you for watching.